to Hollywood Hood Girl 2 Movie. Thank y'all for coming. Here we go. That's the movie today, y'all. It's all about them leftovers. Hey, y'all. Come on in. Bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water. Bring your food and snacks and sit and chat with this one hood girl to the hood. Hey, y'all. Okay, the production is Leftovers. The director is Seafood. Uh, we still loving this Panasonic camcorder. Mm -hmm. <coughs> y'all, excuse me. <coughs> I was sleeping under that fan. Uh, y'all, this is the end of August, really. We got two more days, maybe three. I think it's... Oh, it's a... I think it's another day or two. Yeah, one more day tomorrow. <laughs> what am I thinking? Ugh. This is scene one, take one. Let's roll the tape. Hey, y'all. Thank y'all so much for coming to the movie with me. I don't have much to say today. You know, we're doing these leftovers. Uh, let's say prayers. We're going to toast our water. So uh, let's just... Say prayers. Father God, thank you for a beautiful weekend. Thank you for blessing these hands to do hair. Thank you for using me. Thank, uh, thank you for uh, letting your light shine through me to bring man, woman, boy, girl to your bosom. Have your way, Lord. Your way only. Let these leftovers be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. So, yeah. This is to y'all. I hope y'all had a great weekend. So, salut, salut. Let's sip, sip, sip this good water. Hey, y'all. Hope y'all doing well. I am on a calm Sunday. I don't know when y'all gonna see this one, though, but today is my Sunday. Y'all, um... I did my sister's hair yesterday. I did the some kind of twist. It came out so beautiful. I did post it on my Instagram page and um, my uh, Facebook page as well. Uh, I know y'all know I always do my own hair and I love crochet. So I want to say that I'm getting perfect with it as well. So somebody else reached out to me and asked me to do their hair, y'all. I'm not a professional. I have no license. It's just, you know, you learn as you go. And uh, that, you know, that's, I think if that should be my business, I will do crochet hair. Uh, I won't uh, charge without a license too much. Uh, I, I'm thinking about the prices for, you know, with, with my, with my, uh, teaspoon of hair right in the center and everything else is is tapered off um, I'm going to have a set price and then for the whole head it's going to be a set price and my sister twist went down almost to her butt it took four hours for me to do it individually so yeah uh, length will also be included with my price so yeah but it's going to be reasonable that's for sure but look at y'all. Y'all already know we all love this seafood. So y'all, without ado, let's get started. We have a leftover uh, snow crab cluster, a blue crab, sausage, corn, uh, bell peppers, orange, uh, cucumbers, and the shrimp. And of course, we got the leftover Jamaica sauce. Y'all remember, uh, let me start this clock, y'all. Y'all remember I did the Jamaica, the Jamaica sauce off of Dr. Oz uh, show. I will do it again, but I'm going to add some onions, y'all, because uh, let's see what the leftover uh, is going to be. Because I know Sharika B, eating pretty mukbangs, her her sauce is bomb leftover. And, of course, you know, uh, Dame Dash Butter Sauce is bomb and B-Love's uh, sauce is actually bomb, you know, after a day or two. So we're going to see what Jamaica's is, too. All right, y'all. So look here, um, yesterday when my sister came, she came with gifts. She gave me a, uh, my favorite uh, total wine where I go and buy my alcohol and stuff. She gave me a gift card and then y'all look what else she brought me. Some freaking 
uh, dipping bowls. How pretty is that? She got me three of them. So without this big bowl, this is a pretty reasonable dip bowl. So, you know, and I had to say thank you. It's really good when um, people do, when they go come bearing gifts that you can use it. You know what I mean? So yeah, without a do, I'm, I'm hungry. Let's see what this sauce tastes like today. This is, I didn't, this is my first time eating it from Friday, y'all. So we're going to see what it tastes like. It's a little thicker, if I can say, but let's see. And it was hot. It was spicy Friday, so let's see if it's really spicy today. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> I feel the spice, but not bad. It's pretty good. I still, I still miss my onions, y'all. I miss my onions really bad. But it's not bad. Well, yeah. I only did a half a pound of butter. I ain't do the whole pound of butter. Mm -mm. But I did the, all the measurements. I think I really think I should have did it half since I, I since I only did half of the a pound of butter. Uh, I probably should have done one teaspoon, but not, not all the other two teaspoons. You know, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I should do half. <laughs> so how was y'all weekend going? Hope y'all have fun. I did. This weekend, I decided that I'm not going to go visit anybody. I wanted this weekend to be just for me. And it was. Y'all, I'm so sorry here. I got to take the whole thing. I got the other half. It's okay. Um, yeah, so I did it. I, now, next weekend, God say the same if I'm still alive. Mm. It's just good. I'll be going to do my regular visit to mother. I think she gonna give me a bag of, I think she said, um, okra. I think she said squash. Y'all squash? Yeah, we know we love them fresh vegetables. Mm hmm. Mm. Damn, that's good. I don't want them right now. I want this. Y'all, I thought Monday was going to be my last day on this project, but it's not. But now, it's going to be till the 4th of September. They said that they'll know more on Friday, but they didn't, so, on Monday, so we'll see. If they're going to do the whole month of September. And I, th I think uh, Kumo, the um, governor there, the mayor, whoever the hell he is, uh, in New York, applied for the money. So... They said that it would be six weeks before they approve it. So, hopefully, they'll wait to approve. But I, but they said that even if it's not approved and we go back to our original count, if they extend it afterwards, they're going to call us back. Y'all, 
jobs that they can do, whatever they want to do. You know, that's that fine print. Any other task is what it says. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, what whatever. Yeah. I did meet a nice person, but um, just a friend that I'll be elaborating with on the spiritual side. That's it. Yeah, I need to go back to the fresh market, man. Uh, Cause y'all remember I went. When the storm was supposed to come here, and when I went in there, everything was gone. They said because uh, everybody came in and bought all the seafood because they thought we was gonna be in a storm. So somebody eating good because they took all the blue crabs. Okay, but I'm gonna go this week. Well. Probably Sunday, God said the same, because Saturday I would not be at home. I'll be gone all day. I mean, I can trust probably Sunday, because I ain't go visit nobody this weekend. Dave and them going to want me to come today all. But I know uh, for Labor Day, we will be at David's house. For real. Y'all, do y'all know I only had crawfish twice this year? And I was watching uh, somebody do five pound of crawfish. God dang it. I need, I don't like the frozen crawfish though. It don't taste good. I like the fresh one. And y'all remember Before COVID showed his ugly head, or is, is COVID a girl or a boy? I don't know. Sound like a man, huh? Oh, wicked man, a wicked man. You know, uh, the, the big store uh, HEB that I love, um, they do crawfish outside of the store and these big old pots and stuff. You know, and that, that's where I had got mine from, one of them. And uh, it was so good, but when COVID hit, then, you know, they couldn't cook no more. So, that went away. I know for all of you who are by the outlet open water, I know y'all probably having some good seafood as well. But I'm going back to the market. I want to just, you know, I think because I got to do a video for a lady that asked me to do the live video for the uh, blue crabs. I just want to do nothing but blue crabs. Yeah. And maybe a pot of sticky rice. I'm going to do a big bowl of salad. I'm going to do like our jazzy beef. And then mention it uh, for Jazzy B. Let me shout out my fab five. Y'all, I've just been talking, 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 talking. Hey, ladies. That is kicking it with Lynn. Eating good because she eats good. It's Jazzy B. Banji is Banji World. And of course, me, that hood girl to the hood. Hey. Yeah, this sauce needs onions. Because it does have garlic in it. But you know, for Sharika B and um, Dame Dash, when you're adding to his, I chop up like 20 cloves of garlic with Sharika B as well. This one on the call for two cloves. It's not enough. 
but I wanted to do her recipe just like she said. So, oh y'all, I'm belching. Mm, excuse me. I want to do it like she said so I could have her taste and see. Uh -huh. But it's good. <clears throat> It's good. And shit, if I have to remake it with the stuff, I might as well keep making Sharika B saw. Y'all pray for uh, Vay Charles that that um, that storm did uh, some damage down. So when I saw the the pictures to some of my Zotico friends that posted, I'm like, wow. Yeah. But you know, when I uh, look at the storms and all the other stuff that's going around the world. I always remember what my Bible said. You know, I think sometimes a lot of times actually God allows things to happen to get our attention and, and to get our life and our houses in order when calamity comes, you know. I just think it's him saying, look here, y'all. I'm going to need y'all to... Uh, I'm going to need y'all to get, get get your life right. So, and I think with his grace that he gives us, the storm don't kill us. You know what I mean? And that's grace. That's his love and grace that he keep you through it. You know? You know, sometimes he say, I'm going to take I'm going to take you through the storm and I'm going to take something from you. But a lot of time, we're not ready to move. I'm mm, saying something, y'all. I'm going to say that again. Sometimes when he displaces us, he's telling us it's time to move. But because we're so complacent or we have fear, not knowing, it's that not knowing does give us fear. But, uh, and so we, we rebuild when he told us it's time to leave. And so we wonder when the next storm comes, it does the same thing. It's because you were not obedient. You wanted to stick and stay and he told you to move. That's why he took it from you. Not to rebuild. But rebuild better somewhere else. Sometimes he says, it's time to go. Sometimes you got to leave your stuff behind. You got to go. Leave, that is. But a lot of times, y'all, we don't want to do it. We are, and I've been there. I've done that, baby. That's why I can speak it. Every time he took somebody from me, I kept begging them to come back. And they brought me the worst heartache that I've ever been through. So I can teach because I went through it. Sometimes you just got to go. You got to go. You got to leave. You just have to. It's okay. I was just talking to David about that this morning, you know. Oh, yeah, that look good, though, don't it? Hey y'all, that look good, don't it? Mm. Mm -mm -mm.
Okay. I will do that. Mm. I got it. Mm. That's delicious. Oh yeah, I'm getting full. I'm glad I ain't do no potatoes. Look at that. Lot of meat. Ain't nothing in there. Yeah, we can put away some crabs. Okay. These are my last. This was, that was my last snow crab. So I'm gonna have to go give me some more. I want some uh, dungeons, actually. I haven't had them in a while, have I? Mmm. Mmm. Y'all, you know, you try to get to all that meat in there. Look at that. Mm-hmm. It's a lot. Mm. That's so sweet. That really is sweet. It's good. Got a burn on my finger. That cut myself. Somewhere. Right. Y'all, do y'all know it's only four months left in this uh, year? Four. Mmm. That's good. There you go, y'all. We out of time. Time to go, y'all. Mm-hmm. Time to go. So look here. I'm glad y'all came. Thank you for eating with me and chatting with me. And I love you. You know there's nothing you can do about it. I really do. Okay. Okay, let's sing, y'all. Y'all ready? <clears throat> It's time to say goodbye for now. We we'll have another chance around on the other side. So whatever you do today to end this weekend, please do it good and do it with love. Love, that is. Peace out, my beautiful kings and queens. We coming back. Get your house in order. Bye-bye.